Einstein's equations of general relativity simply say the following. The Ricci curvature tensor minus one half the metric tensor times the contracted curvature tensor is proportional to the stress energy tensor. All this says that if I start with a star, a black hole, or even a universe, that determines the curvature that surrounds that concentration of matter and energy. But inside these equations, there's a monster. In the extreme gravity at the core of a black hole, Einstein's equations spiral wildly out of control. After a very long, tedious calculation, I mostly get zeros, but the non-zero term is given as follows. M is the mass of the black hole. R describes the distance from the black hole. Here is the problem, right there. When R is equal to zero, the point at which physics itself breaks down. So one over R equals one over zero equals infinity. To a mathematician, infinity is simply a number without limit. To a physicist, it's a monstrosity. It means that, first of all, gravity is infinite at the center of a black hole, that time stops, and what does that mean? Space makes no sense. It means the collapse of everything we know about the physical universe. In the real world, there's no such thing as infinity. Therefore, there is a fundamental flaw in the formulation of Einstein's theory. According to Einstein, then, all the mass of the black hole is contained within an infinitely small point that takes up precisely no space at all. This impossible object of infinite density and infinite gravity is called the singularity. We know what a singularity is. A singularity is when we don't know what to do. To me, what's so embarrassing about a singularity is that we can't predict anything about what's going to come out of it. You know, I could have a singularity here, and then boom, out comes a pink elephant with purple stripes. And that's consistent with what the laws of physics predict, because they don't predict anything. A singularity is when our understanding of nature breaks down. That's what a singularity is. Einstein realized there was a problem when he was shown this infinity. But he thought that black holes could never physically form. Therefore, it was an academic question. Sure, there was a problem in these equations, but it didn't matter because Mother Nature could never create a black hole. 